words like high primarily when I work with like the be super high just kind of just look right and some of the guys definitely check out Leisure. I'm not too we've had conversations about it. I see fresca thirst quenching kick change. But you guys, this has just been like I love that aesthetic of the bottle. I love that you can just like push it down and you get like mm -hmm. number four, which I also thought was very interesting, was the Virgo Blue by Sweetie and her.
I'm here mixing up some pre-workout. I use the Hyde pre-workout. We actually get it on Amazon. It's much cheaper and it works really good. I mean, so good to the point where I can't take a full scoop. I take like a half scoop to a three quarter scoop. It really like does its job. But I just wanted to hop in here really quick and say to get ready for your workout. Um, I don't mean like put makeup on unless that's really what you want to do, but I just mean like pick a outfit that you feel really cute in and you feel motivated in. Like do your hair just so you feel like a little bit put together and then you just feel refreshed and just energized all of a sudden. Like I woke up this morning, I knew I was going to work out, but I knew I didn't have to work out at 5 a.m. like I normally do because it's one of my days off. So I allow myself to sleep in and then I just did some things around the house that you guys just saw. And it's kind of hard sometimes for me in the middle of the day on my days off. I don't know why I get so down for some reason. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like do my hair for my workout even though I'm gonna work out in the living room today. Cause a lot of times I'll just throw my hair up in a messy bun. As you guys saw, my hair was, I literally was wearing my PJs and my hair was exactly how it looked when I woke up. And so I was like, let me just put my hair in a really cute bun. It's out of the way for my workout and you know do my edges because edges make you slay clean like literally if you do your edges it makes you look so put together and i instantly felt refreshed i was like yes i'm ready for my workout like i'm so ready for my workout and then i'm so ready to talk to you guys about just certain things about the new year and just like my mindset going into the new year um, but I told myself I need to do my workout first and then once I'm done I'm gonna sit in that little cozy corner of my couch and talk to you guys about um, just like the way that I'm heading into the new year I know it's already day what three or four but I've been busy <gasps> I put like that much water in because I don't want to wait 30 minutes for it to work and I am not like I'm gonna get it out of the way like I'm actually excited to work out. Also got a new speaker for Christmas so that really just takes a workout to the next level. And then of course we like to go to the gym but I um, started going to work earlier so I can't make it there in time like from when they open to when I need to get to work like I'm just gonna I'm gonna get like a 20 minute workout so I might as well just work out at home and then on my days off I go to the gym clearly I didn't do it today you can see I don't know if you guys saw me when I was cleaning up the living room a little bit this big old speaker that I got for my brother but for Tyler and I and it's pretty cool because it's um 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 um, um what is that called waterproof I guess so like you could take it to the beach or the pool and things like that and it can get wet I'm sure not like emerged in water but like splashed with water and it'd still be okay and um we just been really liking it i personally like it like last night i was cooking dinner tyler brought the speaker in the kitchen for me and i just like had like a little seltzer and the speaker going and cooking dinner and it was just such a vibe it was like my favorite thing to do is like have a glass of wine and like listen to music and bananas trying to vomit right now Nance. Anyways, and listen to music, such a vibe, and it was so cute because he totally like came home and was like, I know you had a long day, like, did you have a long day? Like, well, you know, here's this because I know, he knows that I like to have like a drink while I'm cooking dinner, or listening to music, or just like vibing. And I don't do it as much like on weekdays, but he knew I had today off, so he was like, he got that for me and I just thought it was really sweet. But anyways, I'm gonna t drink my pre-workout or so I'm never gonna drink it, get this workout done, and then I'll meet back up with you guys in just a few. Hey guys, I'm back and it's another day. <laughs> it's like the 15th, I think, of January, obviously. And I am here to refilm my 2023 goals and intentions. So that day that I was recording everything and, you know, cleaning, do my workout, and then I recorded my intentions and goals, but I don't know why, but going back, and editing it I was like this is really boring like my energy was so low and I don't know if it was just because I just finished a workout and I just cleaned all day and I just was like this is not the vibe like I'm bored editing this so let me just go ahead and refilm it so we had a really busy weekend like a lot of fun things we went to go see plane we also went to go see gary owen at a comedy club which was so cool both tyler and i have never gone to a comedy club and it was just a really good experience a lot of fun just hanging out at home as well and just getting things done around the house we went to go grocery shopping too and i opened the fridge and i was just like wow like i am so blessed that i have a fridge full of food right now like 
it was just so nice because you know times can be rough and it's just it just made my day to like be able to open the fridge and like just know that we had a good good weekend and just blessed with so much food to like feed our bodies anyways so let's get into this i want to not bore you guys <laughs> i used to be really a girl that was like new year's resolutions aren't for me and i guess i just don't like the word new year's resolutions because people make fun of you if you go to the gym on in january or if you mess up then you're a loser like if you don't stick with your new year's resolutions then you suck and it was just like like that's like the whole stigma around it and i just kind of felt like this year felt like a reset and just time to like i just felt energized and had just motivation to want to do better and i mean i always want to do better that's probably not the right way to think of it but i was just motivated by the fact that it's new year's and so i was like you know what i'm gonna roll with it and if i don't stick with something because whatever life happens and no one's perfect then oh well like who cares at least i tried and i think that it's way better to get up and try to be better every single day and fail and learn from it and then try even more than sit in the corner and be laughing at people for trying so not that i did that but i'm just saying like i feel like sometimes people are just like sitting in the corner and they don't want to try new things or you know work on themselves because they're scared of failure but to be honest failure is like where you grow i just love it i just uh thrive in it and i posted this quote the other day where it said if fear is the only thing stopping you then get to know it and i was just like yes yes i love it so much i mean like and so I make people may think it's like crazy decisions, but that's why I like moved across the country. I wanted to do it, and like you know, there's pros and cons to me doing that, but I would have never changed my decision for moving across the country. So much good came from it. So, my top two thing is to intentionally show up for my workouts, to, to intentionally work out. So, the last year, I was so proud of myself because I showed up every single day, worked out, stayed healthy, but I was just like going with the motions. Like now I'm trying to like show up and then like really try with every single rep, with every single, you know, workout. And if I'm not feeling it, then listen to my body and like go for a walk or do yoga that day, but then intentionally do those things and not just like check out of everything, but truly check in to myself and everything I'm doing for myself. So, so far it's what, half uh, halfway through the month i have been sticking with that mindset and every single workout is just so much better like i just feel so much more accomplished at the end of my workouts like it, the workouts make me happy again because i know i was really trying for myself and i love it i love it so much and also like the last three days i've been busy and enjoying the weekend i didn't work out and you know what it's okay like it's totally okay because tomorrow 5 a.m. baby we're back at it you know like it's okay to enjoy life sometimes that and then I'm trying to think what was my other other one okay well first of all i'm gonna just let you guys know this is my little backpack that i bring to work every single day so i have my planner in here and i have some really cool pens just so that i can you know be creative in my planner make it more fun you know keep organizing more fun but this planner is really simple in the front but i i don't like that i like i like pretty simple things but with cute writing so i'm going to show you this was december and that's the calendar before like the actual month and then you get into the month and um basically i write on my days off on here and like if I have any events going on when I'm on call and all that good stuff. I also wrote on here because I saw somebody post where it said uh, 2023 intentions and it just gave you like, it says like I want to learn and then you fill it out and things like that. So kind of like a little guideline so you can know and like have some, help you come up with some goals for yourself. Also by the way, I'm so sorry that I literally just woke up, got ready, like not got ready, but like had my greens, I had my coffee, I have a little um, little pumpkin banana bread with chocolate chips in it. I was like, you know what, I have the energy to film, I don't care that I'm not, I'm not gonna get ready, like I just wanna film. So 
excuse my mess. <laughs> but anyway, so I will read you this and then I'll try and come up with my other intention. Like I literally cannot remember it for some reason. But on here it says, I want to learn. And then I put, I want to learn Spanish. <sighs> so far, haven't dabbled into it. I downloaded Duolingo, but there's just something about me is like, I want to learn it, but am I truly committed to it right now? No, but it was, it's something that I want to do and I feel like saying it will is like the first step to me doing it and working towards it. So we'll get there, we'll get there, you know, little by little. Next one is I want to try. And it said, I want, so it said, I want to try. And then I put making creative meals on the weekends. And I'm so proud of myself because I've actually been doing this every single, I've done it more than just on the weekends. Throughout the last year, I was staying healthy, but I wasn't like having fun with my food either. I almost was to the point of, I was like, I don't even want to eat because I'm like bored of my food. So that's why I was like, I just want to be more creative and have like fun with my food. So I had some old bananas and I was like, let me make some banana bread. And then I had pumpkin from the can left in a container. So I was like, let me make that. And then I was like, you know, I got to add some chocolate chips in it. Actually, I'm a chocolate chunk girl now. And I made it and it was really good. So I did that. And then I also made kind of like fried rice, but with tofu instead of like, tofu as the eggs, you know, that was delicious. I've been making different variations of quesadillas like that's yummy i've chopped up my zucchini i love zucchini but i kind of like burnt myself out of it but i chopped it up in a different shape and it made it made me excited for it again the other thing i wanted to make was some chocolate chip muffins i made them and they came out really good i brought it to work for one of my co-workers birthdays um i'm trying to think there was something else i wanted to make but basically i've been doing it and i'm just so excited i have so much more fun in the kitchen i enjoy when i'm eating things again and yeah i'm pretty proud of myself for sticking to that one and then it said i want to stop and then it, basically i want to stop putting myself down for not doing everything 100 percent 24 7 you know like for example this last weekend i didn't work out for three days and i truly okay with it like truly okay with that I'm not beating myself up about it and I'm proud of myself for doing that you know because life is all about balance and I'm just trying to learn how to live the most healthy balanced lifestyle with still being able to have fun and then I said I want to have and I want to have better income to build savings so that is definitely in the works of just kind of like what my next step is and just I've been praying a lot and wanting waiting for God's you know guidance because he will lead me where I need to be and where he wants me to be. So I have, you know, certain opportunities and things like that. I don't want to talk about it too much until like I know for sure what the plan is, but there's definitely works, you know, plans in the works to take the next step so that I can continue to better myself in my career and in my own financial stability. And then of course, including, you know, Tyler in that, making sure that it's the right decision for him too, because, you know, we're a team and we have to do what works best for both of us. Then also like just something else is that I really love making YouTube videos, but it would be really amazing if I can actually make income from YouTube. And so that's definitely one of my goals too. The other thing too about the building, yeah, I, I guess I said it already, but I just wanted to make sure that it's known that I want better income for the fact that I like to continuously put money in my savings just because things do happen where you have to rely on your savings and I've learned that, especially moving across the country. For example, I just wanna let you guys know this. I saved a lot of freaking money before I moved across the country and I highly recommend you do that because it costs a lot a lot of money to move across the country. I moved here the first two months just with miscommunication and just like the whole system of my job and blah, blah, blah. I didn't get paid for two months of me working, of living here. If I didn't have my savings, how was I gonna pay for rent? How was I gonna pay for my bills? How was I gonna pay for my food? How was I gonna pay for my animals' food? She was back here. Oh, truly, truly, truly. True. <laughs> Nance is on the chair back there. No, but seriously, like, if it wasn't for my savings, I could have been homeless. I have learned over the years, obviously, from adults telling me, like, you know, older adults telling me, like, savings is really important, and then just needing to rely on it. Like, savings is really important. So I just want to make sure I can have better income to be able to continuously put money in my savings. The next one is I want to start and then 
that one I put, I want to start reading. It's not because I'm like, I just, you know, everyone talks about reading's good for you and blah, blah, blah. And like, it's the thing to do. No, but like, I really have this itch to get back into reading. And I'm like, I think I've told you guys on here, I'm working on starting a reading corner in my back room. Just like working on trying to get like a little cozy corner so that I can read, but budget friendly and also realistic. Like, do I have all the extra money to buy those things for that corner? So I'm not gonna just wait until I have money for that. Like I actually am like starting to read. And so I got this book. It starts with us. I've been dying to read this series, but I didn't, I since it says it starts with us, I thought this was the first book, but I literally flipped to like the first page and the author says that you need to read it. It ends with us first. So I got them flip flopped. So I need to get the other book and then I can start reading. But basically I was like, I'm not waiting until I get that reading corner. I am going to buy this book and I'm gonna start reading. <laughs> I just have this itch to read. A couple of years ago when I did 75 hard, I got into reading, but the re required reading was to be self-help books, books that teach you things. And I was just like, you know what? I just really wanna like tap into my imagination and read stories and just be creative. So uh, that's why I got this book and I'm really excited to read this. My other thing I just it popped in my head is for my, uh, there's a squirrel at my window and it's really distracting me, it's really cute. It's to just like continue to tap into my creativity. I love doing my makeup. I just make sure I do it at least like once a week. Not like forcing myself, but just because it's so fun. Even if it is to sit at home, like Tyler knows I've done it. Like he literally laid down on the bed while I was doing my makeup. And then we moved to the living room just because I wanted to do my makeup. And I just have been, I have a collection of palettes, of eyeshadow palettes. And so, especially when I know I'm not going anywhere, I just get creative and I pick a different palette and I try and use the color from there and just tap into like, that side of my brain, it really like brings me joy. So I've been doing that and um, I love it. I'm gonna continue to do it. It just, it makes me really happy, especially if I'm feeling down. Oh man, let me tell you, if I go in that corner and do some makeup, I'm feeling good, honey. <laughs> Next one is I wanna be more intentional with my workouts. I already talked to you guys about that. Then it says I wanna continue to, I wanna continue to spend quality time with Tyler, family and friends. I am really good at diving head first into work, just making sure that I make a lot of money and I'm just like constantly like work, 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 that I've missed a lot of events, family time in the past and I just really wanna make sure that I put family and friends and obviously Tyler too first because they're important people in my life and you know, they have put in a lot of time in caring for me, loving for me, and I just want to continue to do that back for them. That was nice. If anything, this weekend I did it. We got to hang out with my brother, then I hung out with Tyler. So I'm continuing to do it, and I'm proud of myself for that. And then the last one is I'm going to be proud of my accomplishments and drive to keep going. So sometimes I get down on myself because obviously when you move out of California, you make less money, but honey, the rent here is not that much cheaper than California and you make way less. So I always got down on myself about that. And to be honest, like I just need to focus on the fact that I was able to move across the country by myself. And I mean, granted I do it with my best friend, but like I supported myself, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody supported me in that job now, even though I may not make more money, I'm gaining so much knowledge and I'm making myself so much more valuable to anywhere else that I go. And I'm proud of myself for that. And I'm also proud of myself for even the days that I feel down, that I continue to lift my head up and keep going. That's not easy to do, you know? It's easy to stay down. It's not easy to get back up. And so if you get up every single day and you're trying every single day, you need to be proud of yourself too. Like it's, life is not easy and we have to be proud of every little thing, every little accomplishment that we do and that's gonna keep us going. Like you can't look at the world as one big picture. Like you have to look at it as little chapters, little paragraphs, little sentences and enjoy each little sentence and then paragraph and then the whole book, you know? I just found that that really helps me get through life. I think that's pretty much it for my goals and intentions. If you guys have any that you want to share, just let me know and, you know, just help motivate each other. Type them down in the comments down below. I'm really happy that I ended up refilming this 
later on in the week because then I can share with you guys like the things that are actually working and the things that kind of aren't and you know what it's okay it's like literally proof right there that certain things will not go as you planned and that's totally fine at least you tried like the Spanish is not happening for me right now <laughs> But mainly everything else is working really good and I'm really excited about it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this couch with my, my Trudy and edit this video. I have another video for you guys too. So I'm just gonna like literally get into edit mode. Later tonight we have dinner with Tyler's family and I'm super excited. Hopefully we get to go to BJ's cause that's kind of like our favorite little spot. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.